Do you want to send uh, that video to me, Frank? If you can email, you can email. Me. We can send it to Dr. Kirkpatrick. We'll take your video. We'll take anything that you want to share because we're here to be very serious about our scientific review. I just want to say thank you for having us here. Um, You're uh, welcome. I look forward to more hearings and hopefully more probing questions. Yes. Um, yeah. um, May I ask you one question? So sure. Is there have you been some way I can send you some of the, the footage? Like, no. Have you asked? Yes. And I don't think that. Um, I don't know that it exists. Doctor, well, in Hawthorne, New Jersey, we run a lab researching alternative propulsion concepts, okay. so warp drive or dynamic nuclear orientation to uh, reduce the inertial mass of objects. Um, you could learn everything over here that takes us straight right. to the, our, uh, our research videos and stuff. Okay, great. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Maybe more probing questions for you. Hopefully, this hearing, which didn't complain about that. About the takedown and, itself. And, and, and um, they allege that there is you know, footage and it doesn't purport to show whatever has been shared with you. Here, like um, 14 second mark. We've been briefed on it and the, the classified or the post hearing that took place before this. But, um, that reporting was interesting to hear that uh, allegedly no one has been shared. There's one that comes the video. Has this been shared with anything? I'll find out. Uh, I'll look into it. The other yeah, I'll look into it. Yeah, yeah. I'll look Senator, into it. Senator, thank you for putting this together. And My pleasure. Th this is I really will, a historic moment. I will ask those moment. questions because uh, I don't, I don't, I didn't have that information, and so I'll ask about that. Just, uh, a little, I appreciate you having this hearing again. It's disappointing that you know, no more of your colleagues. Well, more that. people came to classified. I understand. So, that. Yeah. but um, we got to ask our questions over for for unclassified. Yeah. They, they did. A lot of people yeah. were very interested. So, part of my goal is to make sure that, that we elevate the issues so the senators can understand what's yeah. happening. Well, again, I appreciate you doing what seems like the most on this and look forward to a lot more. Yeah, and it's just the beginning, and I think you can feel comfortable that Dr. Kirkpatrick is taking this extremely seriously. He's doing the hard work, and to the extent he experiences roadblocks, I will be pushing back on those roadblocks on his behalf. I've asked your staff and the Armed Services and the uh, Intelligence Committee about reporting directly to Arrow. Um, Armed Services told me that they wouldn't take a report and uh, convey it to Arrow. Arrow. Uh, but I can no, take reports. I can. So, so you, I, I, you can I, give me reports. Yeah. I can get them to Dr. Kirkpatrick. I, I, the only reason I'm here is mainly because of that fact that it was hard to reach out to their office because I'm, I, you know, I'm not very much in the community or like a journalist. I think it's hard for it, DOD to set this up. So as soon as we have the uh, com I, the. Um, public-facing yeah. uh, portal, yeah. it'll be easier to make reports. Yeah, I'm looking into something on behalf of a former member of the military who had a um, first-hand encounter or something back in 1986 uh, that's just absolutely well, wild. Please encourage him to report to Dr. I don't think he wants to come forward, but I foiled on his behalf his deck logs from the day that incident occurred. Well, if he's comfortable meeting with us confidentially, we're happy to meet with him. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, Frank, what, what he alleges to have occurred is wild and fascinating, and then the treatment he received and the threats from the Navy Afterwards, yeah. You uh, all can, we, we will be your, it. we can be your um, interface until the public office is set up. I don't, I don't think he'll come forward, but I'll share it with you. But he can, uh, he can even sit down space. with me and Frank. Yeah. Like, we, we meet with constituents all the time confidentially. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, are you a lot of scientists? Anyway, I want to hear it. I'm sure you have a background in physics and a lot of technical research on this. I know, outline it. try to find people who worked on this. What was your name? Get their stories and get more from the Navy. Break that information down to non technical objects. Well, to the extent you can get them to interview with Dr. Kirkpatrick is very helpful. Yeah, Because as he just testified, He's had two dozen come in, yeah, thank and, you. and these are, you know, scientists and I know a personnel. Number of people so, Senator, are, are you familiar with the Mansfield Amendment from 1973? It basically yeah. blocked all research into alternative propulsion concepts or stuff like that that go against Einstein's theory. Right. And, and I mean, we started we started our own lab researching this stuff. You can find the. Uh, our YouTube yep. channel where we, where we show all our experiments yeah. and stuff. Great. And and it, there's no government funding coming for this stuff. It's well, all some privately drone, funded. There's some good drone technologies that are emerging that are no, very we're, interested. We're talking about we're talking about stuff that don't eject anything. We're talking about warp drive, dynamic nuclear orientation to make 
matter weightless. Thank you again. Thank you, so Thank you for bringing your research. We're so grateful. Thank you so much for taking the time. Enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. Thank you. And thank you for giving Dr. Kirkpatrick a copy. Very grateful. I've heard a lot of rumors, like Jack Fillet, for instance, he found a note in J. Allen Hynek's um, called the Pentacle Memorandum, and it talked about in, in J. Allen Hynek's notes that there was a, possibly another Project Blue Book that was run by a Howard C. Cross of Battelle, and that this Battelle Memorial Institute may have been involved in a, it, it's a first off, it's a nonprofit, private, quasi governmental organization, which is completely not outside of your oversight. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's existed since the 1930s. There's rumors of scientists who worked there that said that they were given metals really that they believed were, came from off world. Interesting. Came, and um, if I think that if they're hiding this anywhere, it would be in a quasi governmental organization like this, which is outside of. You know, that would make sense because it doesn't have government oversight. Yeah. Um, they currently yeah. manage all yeah. of our. Yeah. Phoenix or uh, Senator, you should take yeah, this very so. seriously. This I is yeah. this is a once in a civilization occurrence that's happening. Committed. Yes, and we appreciate that. Yeah. From my time Have you heard of the Blue Room? Not yet. What's so Senator room? Barry Goldwater was going after, um, apparently there's a Blue Room at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base where they hold all the UFO metals and debris, and it's outside of oversight. Well, my hope is that Dr. Kirkpatrick, through his scientific message, gets an op basically gets to the bottom of these things so that, that I can get to because yeah. I don't have access to any of it. So. We're trying to build no, no. one yeah. in Hawthorne, New Jersey. Well, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, subvert that whole disclosure process and say, well, well, we have technology and we don't need to wait for the government to admit right, to right. something. We well, can... that's what's interesting. And that's why I asked the last question about the scientific community and the academic community because yes. the scientific and academic communities can be so advanced on these issues. Oh, we are. Um, yeah, because well. you have brilliant minds, you've got the resources, from big companies, um, but I don't. I, I hadn't heard the thing about Bechtel. But oh, I'll, Bechtel. Uh, be, how do you spell it? B a t t e l e l e. Bechtel Memorial Institute. B a e. Two T's, two L's. Yeah, B a t t e l. It's yeah. in Columbus, Ohio. They're they're about forty five minutes let me from Mike Patterson. Mm -hmm. Maybe. They might. They might. I, I would call them. Yes, up. Can you call up Frank and see? Can will, we have a they visit? They would be happy to have you visit. Yeah. Them. Howard yeah. Howard Cross was the director, and he's mentioned in that Pinnacle Memorandum. Which, uh, I want to go visit. Road trip. <laughs> yeah, I'll go. We we just took a road trip uh, down from Hawthorne, Rhode yeah, Island, Rhode Island to Thank New Mexico. Yeah, I'm really glad you guys could come and yeah, show me what you got. Um, it's great to finally meet you. I've seen this. This is a real picture. Yeah. This is what the NRO is flying. 